Hey guys, what do you think of my shirt? It's a Crooked Kingdom shirt and it was designed by Evie and I will link to her Society6 shop below because I love her shop and I love this shirt so much and I love Crooked Kingdom. Hi guys, it's Alexa and today I will be showing you guys my October book haul. And without further ado, we're gonna get started. How does this mask make me look? Do I look dashing? Anyway, if you guys have seen this floating around the interwebs, you know what book I'm gonna be bringing up right now. Roseblood by A.G. Howard. It is a YA Phantom of the Opera inspired book, which I think sounds incredible and I already wanted to read it just based on that. Rune Germain is this incredibly talented singer, but after every performance, she finds herself hit with a mysterious affliction. In the hopes of finding a reason for that and for finding a solution to that, her mother sends her off to a French boarding school. She then encounters this boy named Thorne and she starts to develop this relationship with him. There's more to the story than that because the phantom haunting the conservatory wants her for a very specific reason. And so I'm excited to dive into this one. It comes out in 2017. And I'm so, so grateful to Abrams and Peek for sending me a copy of this one to read. Boy Robot by Simon Curtis. I know nothing about this one, so give me a minute to read the synopsis. It's about a boy named Isaac who one night learns the truth about himself. He's a robot, and robots were designed by the government as a weapon. And the only refuge he has now is to go underground with other robots. He has to basically make it from where he is to their base. And Sounds like a pretty interesting book. I haven't heard much about it, so I may be reading it. Next is Fate of Flames by Sarah Raleigh, and this is the first book in the Effigy series. It's about four girls who are effigies, and they each have the unique power to control a specific element. And they are supposed to protect the world from phantoms, who are massive beasts of nightmare. Basically, the girls have to team up to try and save the day, and that sounds really interesting. Traveler, which is by... L.E. Delano. It's about a girl named Jessa and she is a writer who obviously loves to dream about and be immersed in other worlds. Suddenly her favorite character from a book, Finn, just appears out of nowhere and invites her for coffee and so begins this story. Finn is apparently a traveler who can slide through the different realities. It is only later that she discovers that aside from this cool talent, Finn actually has a mission. He wants to save Jessa because in every reality he knows her if she's been dying. And that just sounds really interesting to me. I am looking forward to checking this one out. I got this awesome box from Swoon Reads and there were a bunch of things in it including this awesome tote which says shelfies over selfies. Heck yeah! Self-confessed, book obsessed. There were a bunch of bookmarks, didn't see that coming. I will go down with this ship, which I say a lot. Out of this world, unputdownable and epic. And it also came with two arcs, one of which I gave to my friend and the other of which I kept. And it is Just Friends by Tiffany Pitcock. And this is obviously a story of a friendship turned romance. Actually, it's, it's more interesting than that. Jenny and Chance meet for the first time when they're assigned to be partners in a class, but when they rescue their assignment with a sort of white lie, the entire school thinks that they've been friends forever. And it's interesting because they both have reasons for wanting to keep that as the truth. Eventually they realize they want to be more than friends, I guess, and that sounds really fun, sort of romantic comedy-ish, which I love. And I'm excited to check this one out, so thank you Soon Reads for sending that one to me. Next, I got this awesome book from Workman Publishing, Boss Babes, which was created by Michelle Volansky, and it's a coloring book with different boss babes in it. But this is a really great coloring book, not just for the ladies out there, but for anyone really who is inspired by Boss Babes. The Infinity of You and Me by JQ Coyle, and I love the colors on this cover. And this is about a girl named Alicia, and she hallucinates a lot of different realities. She finds herself fascinated by this boy that she hallucinates in one of her realities. Eventually, when she turns 15, her long lost father suddenly appears and tells her she's not hallucinating, these alternate realities actually exist, and that she and Jax are actually bound together. So that just sounds really interesting. I'm a sucker for alternate reality stories, and I think that I will really enjoy this one, so I'm looking forward to reading it as well. I'm Not Your Manic Pixie Dream Girl by Gretchen McNeil. Love this cover, I think it's so fun. And this seems like it's gonna be a fun YA contemporary read. It's about a girl named Beatrice who is top of her class. She's a shoe in for a scholarship at MIT. She has a new boyfriend. She has basically been the target of bullying along with her two friends for most of their high school life. So she decides that she's gonna come up with a formula which is gonna guarantee her path to social happiness in high school. Bea's friends use the formula and their lives both get better and Bea decides that it's time for her to use the formula when her boyfriend breaks up with her for the quirky new girl at their school. I haven't really heard that much about it but I am curious so I may give this one a read. Just Fine with Caroline which is by Annie England Noblin. It's about a woman named Caroline O'Connor 
who tells herself that everything is fine that's even though her circumstances are less than ideal eventually she meets a man named noah cranwell who is an ex-vet who has come home to her hometown something develops between them and that sounds really cute i won a giveaway for participating in the bookstagram challenge for who wins and the prize was a color your year coloring book which has um different pages dedicated to different seasons which is really fun and I love coloring books so I'm happy to have it and I also got this awesome calendar inspired by Wonder by RJ Palacio which is a book I really enjoyed and I'm happy to have that as well I also won a Twitter giveaway hosted by the novel for two Aussie authors books first is a finished copy of Cloud Wish by Fiona Wood which I really enjoyed I will link to my blog post with my review down below it's about a scholarship student named Van Ook who goes to a posh boarding school of sorts and one day she makes a wish that the boy that she has a crush on who happens to be one of the popular kids would like her back and it happens and so she's trying to distinguish whether it's actually her wish or it's a real thing it delves deeper than that and I really enjoyed it and I think a lot of people would as well it's probably my favorite no it is my favorite book so far that I've read from Fiona Wood tell the truth shame the devil which is by Melina Marchetta it revolves around a character named Bish Orley and he receives a phone call that his 17 year old daughter was on a bus that was bombed she's unhurt but then they discover that the person who is a suspect is on the run and a fugitive and it just leads to a lot of twists and turns that's what it sounds like also this book is signed which i'm freaking out about because i love melina marquetta's other books especially her fantasy series and i would love to read this one my husband missed me while i was away and he ended up buying me the shakespeare notebooks which is um a doctor who it's like a Doctor Who and Shakespeare mashup, which I absolutely love. <laughs> the Shakespeare episode of Doctor Who is actually one of my favorites. And I'm so excited to finally own this and have it in my library. My friend Betty sent me my birthday present, which I am excited about. In the box that she sent me were these awesome socks, which I absolutely love. I am obsessed with socks, so, so excited. And she also sent me two books. The first book is called The Red Bikini. The second book is called 10 Good Reasons. And these are both part of the same series by Lauren Christopher. And I know Betty really liked these books, which is why they were on my radar at all. So I'm so excited that she finally sent them to me and I will definitely be picking them up if I'm in the mood for a good contemporary romance read. All right, now it's time to talk about the books that I bought for myself this month. The first book that I want to talk about is 10,000 Skies Above You by Claudia Gray, and this is the second book in her Firebird trilogy. I was actually supposed to also have the first book, but I had to return it because they sent me a paperback instead of the hardcover, and I just ordered the hardcover, so it will be coming in November. But I really enjoyed this trilogy. I am very much looking forward to seeing how it ends because the final book came out on November 1st, and I pre-ordered that one, so I'm super excited. It's a alternate reality, time travel-y, timey-wimey series, that is about a girl named Marguerite who's trying to chase after the person she thinks is responsible for her father's death. If you guys are in the market for a sci-fi series or a time-traveling alternate reality series, then definitely check this out. Next, we have This Adventure Ends by Emma Mills, and this is her sophomore novel. It is about a girl named Sloane. She and her family have relocated from New York to Florida in order for her dad to, in order for her dad to have a sort of creative rejuvenation because he's a writer and he hasn't been able to write for a while. While there, Sloane discovers that there is more to herself than she's ever known and she also makes this new group of friends that changes her life forever. And it is incredible. By far my favorite book from Emma Mills. I thought it was super enjoyable and you guys should definitely pick it up if you love contemporary and if you are looking for one that will that has a well-rounded cast of characters and is just utterly enjoyable. Next we have The Hammer of Thor by Rick Riordan and this is the second book in his Magnus Chase series and it is a series that is written in true Rick Riordan fashion and basically has the Norse gods as the centerpiece of the mythological aspect of this book. This is the second book so I can't really tell you what it's about because I don't even know what it's about because I don't look up the synopsis for sequels but the first book was all about Magnus discovering his connections to the Norse mythological world and it was incredible and I am really looking forward to checking out this next one. Who's That Girl by Mary McFarlane which was recommended to me by my friend Hannah and I was just in the mood for something um, women's fiction, chiclet, and I just really wanted to check this one out. It's about a girl named Edie who is caught in a compromising position at her colleague's wedding. And basically, it becomes a source of shame and embarrassment for her. Her boss suggests that she takes a leave of absence and in, or like a leave at least, and go work on the, on ghostwriting an autobiography for this famous person. Edie is basically forced to confront her new reality and even herself and to, she starts to question that. And I think this one sounds delightful. 
I'm very much looking forward to reading it and obviously you can tell I bought it from the Strand just by the sticker. In Some Other World Maybe by Shari Goldhagen and this one I remember first hearing about from Estelle over at That's Estelle on Twitter and it's about the different ways everyone's lives intersect and how that plays out in this among this group of friends in particular, if I remember correctly. And I just really love this cover and I also really love the concept of this story because I've always believed that your path in life is meant to happen a certain way. I've always believed in fate and destiny and I believe that it's always interesting to think about how um, people's lives intersect. So that should be interesting to read and I can't wait to check it out. And then we have two books in the series that I absolutely adore, my favorite NA series of all time. The Off Campus series by Al Kennedy, I have The Mistake, which is the second book, and it's about Logan and Grace, and The Goal, which is the fourth book, which is about Sabrina and Tucker, and both are amazing. This one is sort of a second chance romance type story, this one is an unexpected romance, and it, they're both really, really, really good. I was supposed to have the third book, but Amazon ran out of copies, so I don't have it. So I'm crossing my fingers that it will eventually surface one day with this cover because I love these covers. And if you are in the market for an NA series that has a lot of heart and humor, definitely check out the off-campus books. And the last book that I bought myself is obviously Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets, the illustrated edition. Obviously it's by JK Rowling and illustrated by Jim Kay, and it is as beautiful as its predecessor. I don't really need to tell you what Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets is about, but I will tell you that I'm so happy they're doing these illustrated editions because it is such a unique experience to be able to open the book and not just read the words, but also see these moments and these characters brought to life, and it is incredible. So, so excited to add this to the shelf behind me. I finally got my order of goodies from Gina, Gina's store. It's behind the pages on Etsy, and I got this set of lip balms, which is really exciting. There is a Dorian, Dorian lip balm. There's a Resend lip balm, a Manon lip balm, and a Kale one. And I'm just very excited because I think they all smell amazing. They really do. And I just love all the Throne of Glass stuff in the universe. In addition, I finally treated myself to the bookmarks that I've been wanting from her shop. So there are these awesome like silhouette bookmarks of the different books in the Throne of Glass series. So Throne of Glass, Crown of Midnight, Air of Fire, Queen of Shadows, and Empire of Storms. And they are so incredible. I really love the, also the titles are on watercolor on the back. You can see that as well. And the front is the silhouette. And they're just really like, the paper is decent. I will definitely be using these bookmarks. They're beautiful as well. So I'm very excited. I also got these two bookmarks, which are for the A Court of Thorns and Roses series. This one's for A Court of Thorns and Roses, and this one's for A Court of Mist and Fury. And it has this shiny little like stuff on the back, which I think is awesome. So yay for Gina Store. Definitely check it out. Beautiful notebook from IC Designs, and I am obsessed. It is gorgeous and shiny and beautiful and so photogenic and I'm so glad I finally snagged these. These keep going out of stock on their store because they're awesome. So you guys have to watch out for them, but it's well worth it because they're so beautiful. It's just so shiny. And it says, to the stars who listen and the dreams that are answered. And obviously it's a quote from A Court of Mist and Fury. And then my friend Louise, who runs the Twitter Throne of Glass PH, sent me these incredible bookmarks. Um, Empire of Storms ones and the backs are also really brilliant and obviously I will be giving away some of them But I'm so happy she finally sent me some of these bookmarks. So thank you Louise for sending them along And finally the very last thing that I have to show you guys is my uppercase box for the month of October First we have these awesome cassette tape bookmarks. So it's basically a cassette tape magnetic bookmark and then there's the um, tape hanging off the edge, which I think is really cute and really cool, and you guys should definitely try to get your hands on this if you can. Next we have this awesome notebook, which is sort of like a punk version of all these classic authors, which I think is really cool, and even the inside sort of has illustrations on it, which is really fun, and I think that's a really awesome addition to the box. There's this bookmark, which has all the codes that you can enter so you can get special content when you're reading a book, and this sticker, which is themed after the book. And the book in question is Vasa in the Night by Sarah Porter. And I have heard of this one. I've heard mixed reviews of it. It's apparently really, really weird. And it's weird, and I, yes, I said that again. It's weird because I've been in the mood for weird lately, so maybe it will work for me now. I don't know. But in any case, this is a modern day retelling of Vasilisa the Beautiful, and it is set in Brooklyn, and there's a bakery, and that just sounds phenomenal and fun. And I will probably be checking this one out as well, so you guys will have to wait and see what I think. 
you have it guys, those are all the books that I picked up in the month of October. I'm sure there were some ebooks in there somewhere and e-arcs, but if there were, I will probably list them in my blog post. I will be seeing you guys for another video soon. If you wanna catch me in the meantime, definitely check out my other social media accounts. Follow me on there, it would be fun to chat with you guys. And yeah, I will see you guys soon, bye!